In this series, we'll present to you the lectures of Dr. Samuel Burr about the life of Aaron Burr. First, a little about the man. Dr. Burr was a professor of education at American University from 1947 to 1968. He held degrees from Rutgers, Wisconsin, Columbia, and Cincinnati. He was a decorated World War I soldier and served as a teacher, administrator, and coach in Bordentown, Trenton, Lambertville, and Lawrence Township before he became a professor. In his career, he authored 10 books and over 100 articles. It was a personal goal to set the record straight on the life and character of Aaron Burr. He was the sixth generation descendant of Aaron Burr and the founder of the Aaron Burr Association an organization that is still in existence that holds the same goals. I was a student at the University of Wyoming in the late 1990s. I was taking a History of the U.S. West class. One day the professor dropped a note that would impact the rest of my personal and professional life. He mentioned something in passing that most in the class passed over, but that would have me spending the last two decades debating Hamiltonians, sending me on searches for hidden markers, buildings, and objects, and driving my classroom curriculum in search of other figures in history who've been pigeonholed by their outcome and circumstances. What he mentioned that day was that Aaron Burr had been tried for treason for his actions in the West. Until that moment, Burr had only been a secondary figure in any history class I'd ever taken. He'd been a villain that was only tied to the story of the founding of the nation because he took the life of Alexander Hamilton, our economic and legal founder. I had never been given any other insight to him other than, well, maybe the milk commercial where he was played out as a joke. Whether it was fate or not, I wandered into Co Library where they were having a book sale, and I happened to find a 25 cent copy of Gore Vidal's Burr. I read it in a couple of days, and my mind was awakened to new ideas. I went back to the library and searched for more. It just so happened that for some reason, Dr. Burr had left his entire Aaron Burr collection of books to my school library, including his lectures. In these books and lectures, Dr. Burr laid out an extremely convincing case for the salvation of Aaron Burr in our public record and called out those who had put him in the gutter in the first place. There is obviously renewed interest in Burr from the musical Hamilton, but it also lacks much of Burr's true story. Like Vidal, Burr painted a picture of the founding father who had fought against slavery and who also fought for equal rights for women when it wasn't seen as something popular. He's a man who helped shape our modern political system as well as helped shape our early U.S. foreign policy. In the following series of videos, we'll follow the lectures of Dr. Burr and learn about the life of Aaron Burr and Dr. Burr's work to restore his credibility amongst American historians and future Broadway writers. These lectures led me to the Aaron Burr Association, and I hope they'll do the same for you, or at least help you understand historical writing and the truthfulness of historical understanding.